All right, hey guys. Welcome. I have had this buffet out here in the shop for months, months and months, like way long before the holidays. And I really want to do something special with it because guys, it's it is one of these that has, you know, the gorgeous big chunky legs on it and the the chunky feet and just lots of detail. It doesn't have so much detail up here, but it's got a lot of trim work. There's trim on trim, and I'm a whimsical painter, so I like to think of places that I can do my checks and my stripes, and that's what I wanna dive in and do. It's not always what needs to be done. Let's just get started. Let's just get started. So I'm using a flat medium brush, and this is color greens right here, and uh, my brush is dry. You don't have to have your brush wet. You don't have to use water with this paint at all. So don't plan to top coat this piece. I plan to wax it. Okay, y'all see what I'm doing here? I, at the last second, like you can go any direction at all when you paint. You can just get your paint on there. And then what you wanna do at the last second is just give it a nice little spritz and then just work from one side to the other so that you don't have a bunch of short, choppy strokes. So, um, I like this. I think just for fun, we might put some amethyst on the base, just for fun. Make it a little funky. Goodness. Come on. Here, babe. Can't do it. And we didn't even open the Spanish moss. Let's open the Spanish moss real quick, too. Will you open that for me? Thank you. Um, okay, amethyst is gorgeous. I'm gonna put it on, uh, let's put it on one leg here for you so you can see. Holy cow, I love these two together. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, I'm just kind of slapping the color on. Okay, thank you darling. Okay, this one has, I still have um, collard green on the brush. So can y'all see that, the difference here? I'm just playing here with colors, you guys. I'm not trying to do anything pretty, but just so you can see them work up into each other. We are gonna not use Spanish moss. I like it, but we're not gonna use it. Too much, too much of that light color on here. I don't like it. Which I think is a gorgeous jewel tone purple but it also reminds me a little bit of eggplant. And if you use best, if you paint this purple color and you want it to be really regal and not so, you know, bright. It's not bright at all, it's a deep color. Trust me, it's not bright in comparison to the other purple. Um, but you can put black wax over this and it looks just like egg, the outside of an eggplant and it's gorgeous. So I love this color and I love these two colors together. Color green, this deep earthy green color really does go with a lot. It looks really, really good with it. Uh, like the deep espresso chocolates. It even looks good with grays. It looks good with reds. It's looking great with purples. It looks good with blues. It's a very, this right here is a very versatile, very versatile color. And if you've got a man in the house, they usually like it too. Matt really likes this color. Right, babe? Yeah. Not a perfect paint job by any means. Right now, you guys, I'm just trying to get the wood covered so I can see and find a vision for this piece. Just don't know. I am just don't know, but I am feeling Definitely with these colors on there, something with nature. Definitely feeling something with nature. And I have not ruled out black and white whimsical on here. I haven't ruled that out. Okay guys, well, I think one last look. Here we go, we've got our collard greens and our aubergine. Collard greens and aubergine.
what I've done here is on the top of this buffet, I wanted a Harlequin pattern. So I found my center point, which happens to be this center point right here. It's the very center of the dresser, top, both width, height, and width. I decided I wanted my Harlequin to be five inches wide. So I drew a horizontal line down the middle and every five inches, I made my side point all the way across. Then I decided that I wanted my Harlequin to be seven inches tall. So I've made it, I found the center between these two five points, which is right here. And I made it seven inches tall, three and a half up and three and a half down. So right here, you can see will be a Harlequin shape. And then all the way across, this way, I made my dots both above and below. And I will now run my ruler this direction. You can see that I'll line up this dot, this dot, and this dot. And I will draw a line across. I'll move my ruler down, draw another line across, move my ruler down, draw another line across. I'll do that, then I'll flip my ruler and do the same thing going back like this. And I'll have these lines drawn. And when I'm done, I have Harlequin. This side is marked. This side I did not have fully marked yet. So now I'm gonna take my straight edge and I'm gonna work diagonally each direction across my dots that I've already drawn. So I'm just gonna line my straight edge up next to each dot. And I'm gonna draw my mark from the top of the dresser all the way to the other side. And I'll just keep doing this. All the way across in this direction. And then I'll go back and turn my straight edge the opposite way. And when I'm done, I will have a diamond shape pattern. a perfect diamond shape pattern. <laughs>
Y'all have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.